the tablet once again managed to get first dibs on the story. And just like what they said about Prince William, they also claimed that the Queen has cancer of the blood or leukemia. The source said that the Queen's blood caught in a after all, the tablet claimed to know how the members of the royal family reacted to Prince William's diagnosis, but they weren't able to reveal what type of cancer he has. The rumor debunking site also busted the tablet for saying that Prince William's diagnosis is a secret. But for some reason, they managed to get the first dips on the report. Gossip Cut stressed the fact that national inquiries shouldn't be trusted when it comes to reports about the royal family and their health. In April, National Enquirer claimed that Queen Elizabeth only has months to live. In its December the 14th issue, National Enquirer alleged that Prince William found out that he has cancer after he got tested for COVID-19. The results turned out to be positive, and a source for the tablet claimed that this isn't the only thing that Prince William should be worried about. After all, the Duke of Cambridge allegedly has cancer, and Queen Elizabeth, Prince Charles, and Kate Middleton are not taking the news well. Gossip Cop immediately debunked the tabloid's claim by calling it at a phony reporting by National Enquirer. Hand isn't a result of trauma, but it could suggest that she had blood cancer like leukemia or lymphoma. They also claimed that the Queen only has months to live, but she is still very much alive and healthy today. In March 2019, the same tabloid claimed that the Queen's William rumors Kate Middleton's husband not secretly diagnosed with cancer. Prince William made headlines this week and made claims that he was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. Back then, a source for the tabloid claimed that the news about the Queen's health sent Buckingham Palace into complete chaos. The tabloid even quoted an unnamed palace insider who, has, who said the extent of the Queen's illness remains unknown. But for some reason, Queen is dying. And just like the dubious claims earlier this year, National Enquirer also said that Her Majesty has leukemia. But if the Queen is really ill, Buckingham Palace will be the one to report it on it and not the tabloid. And the fact that no other tabloid picked up on their phony claims proves that they are just making things up about Prince William 